April is National Child Abuse Prevention Month. Walk a Mile in Their Shoes, a nonprofit created by former Maine Senator and Secretary of State Bill Diamond, hosted a rally outside of the State House to raise awareness and call for action. Grace Bradley reports. Others, we are here gathered together as the people of Maine to fight against an evil that needs to be stopped. In 2023, Maine Kids Count reports Maine as having the highest rate of child maltreatment in the nation. While national trends go down, Maine's continue to rise. Walk a Mile in Their Shoes say since 2021, 48 children have died in Maine at the hands of abuse and neglect. What we have done is we've issued a report that we released last December that was a result of traveling around the state for 10 months, talking with people who work with the department, caseworkers, foster parents, law enforcement. We asked them, what is the problem that you see? All speakers at the rally demanded change in the Department of Health and Human Services. This child abuse epidemic needs to be addressed through collaboration, resources, strong leadership, and most importantly, transparency. Schools feel abandoned. We do not get responses when we do make reports to DHHS. We don't feel that it's a proactive system, it's a reactive system. June 20th marks three years since my precious grandson Maddox tragically took his last breath. Maddox's death was an unnecessary failure by the department. Procedures in place to protect my grandson were not followed. Maddox Williams was a three-year-old Stockton Springs boy who was murdered by his mother in 2021. Mention in Maddox's name, it's, it's difficult, but it needs to be said. I just don't want his death to be in vain. One attendee was 27-year-old Sean Packard, who spent ages 12 to 18 in foster care. 12 is an unlucky number for me. I actually ended up in 12 different homes. It's no better than it is today, uh, back then. I think a lot of it is just nobody's listening. If the department would just realize we're here to help, we're not here to continue to point fingers. The reason we point fingers and, and shine the light on what's happening is because nothing is happening. Grace Bradley, WBI, TV5 News, Augusta. Let it shine, let it shine.